Well, Mr. Ahmed R. Ahmed is a consultant gar uh, ba g bariatric surgeon who specializes in gastric band procedures. Hello to you, Mr. Ahmed. Is this a magic pill? Good afternoon. Uh, I don't think it's a magic pill. I think it's a new device that is certainly very interesting in its properties because for the first time our, our patients can actually swallow uh, a device which uh, then sort of uh, expands into a small balloon. So that's definitely an advantage. The patients are awake. They don't have to be sedated. They don't have to be anesthetized. But on the other hand, of course, uh, the device only works for three months. After three months, it has to be removed, and that's done through an endoscopy. Yeah, so the removal process isn't as simple as actually taking this pill, is it? Because they've got to have an endoscopy. They're likely to need to be sedated for that process? Quite possibly, yes. And it's certainly not a comfortable. Anyone who's had an endoscopy, that isn't an easy process to go through, is it? It depends who does it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Um, uh, it takes away the need for surgery, but as you say, it's a three-month process. That's very different to having gastric band surgery. It is. It is definitely temporary weight loss. So for those people out there who think that this is going to offer them long-term weight loss, it's, that's just not going to happen. What it's going to give them is a good five to eight kilograms. So there's roughly about a stone, a little bit more than that, weight loss for about three months. And after that, it depends really what happens if they are able to change their ways and their behaviors, they may benefit with continued weight loss, but for the most part, I'm afraid, patients will tend to, re will tend to regain their weight. That's the key point, isn't it? Because this isn't about dieting and exercise necessarily. Some people might think that this is an easy shortcut. I take a pill and therefore I lose weight because I'm not so hungry. But once it's removed, you haven't changed attitudes or behaviors. Precisely. Uh, this is just for those people who have tried dieting and just can't stick to any diets, this is quite good for that reason. It will actually make you force, uh, force you to eat less portions of food That's because it's gonna, the balloon is going to basically take up space in your stomach. And if you actually need, they can put another balloon in as well later on. But at the end of the day, after three months, once the balloons come out, you're going to regain your weight unless you've actually addressed the inherent problem. It's a new procedure, isn't it? I think it's something like 12 patients who have gone through the trial. So what do we know about the long-term implications of this? And would you be happy advising your patients to have it? Yes, I mean, they've done a lot more of these in, in Europe, especially in Italy. And they've got a series of over 100 patients. And it's quite a you know, pretty uh, 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 simple process to put the balloon in. And once you take the balloon out, there's not going to be any long-term damage to your stomach. But the main thing that patients need to understand is that it is temporary. And if you're really after long-term weight loss, then you have to either change your lifestyles completely and eat more sensibly, eat less, exercise more, or go for one of the bona fide uh, bariatric weight loss procedures that are out there. Okay, Mr. Ahmed, thanks very much for your expertise. Pleasure, thank you. Well, this